Hello, I'm Sarah Stowe at Franchising Magazine and I'm at the National Franchise Convention um, on the stand which um, is being run by the IFA, the International Franchise Association. And um, with me is John Reynolds who is um, heading up the educational uh, division of the association which is based in the States. Welcome John. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. It's great to have the American contingency here. Why, why are you here? Well, that's great. There's, it's a two-part uh, answer. Uh, first, we're launching the Certified Franchise Executive Program in cooperation with the Franchise Council here. Um, and so um, we, we had a, a group of um, Australian franchise executives come to the U.S. to attend the IFA Annual Convention last year. And uh, we took a group of them to uh, visit American franchise executives, U.S. franchise executives. Um, and so we're returning the favor. We're bringing a group of American U.S. franchise executives over to uh, attend the National Franchise Conference here. And then when we uh, leave here, we'll go to Melbourne and then Sydney and visit with our counterparts. Uh, in, in Melbourne and Sydney. They'll visit, US, they'll visit franchise operations uh, in Melbourne and Australia and the whole idea is to um, learn from one another, you know, to exchange information, um, exchange information about best practices um, and basically learn from one another. It's, it's very early in, in your week-long um, journey here but have you had a chance to really discover anything new or, or pick up anything from this convention, talking to other franchisors? Well, yes, I think there's there's a lot of similarities, you know, in franchising, uh, franchise companies, franchisors and franchisees, um, entrepreneurs who are engaged in using the franchise model, okay? So you can find certain similarities no matter where you go, okay? Uh, I think one of the themes that's uh, coming from this conference is all about collaboration, you know, cooperation, partnership between franchisors and franchisees, working really to uh, for a mutual success. I mean, you heard it in the opening session. You know, this morning, um, I was really impressed that the uh, your minister, your small business minister, was here and spoke to the group. Uh, I understand there's a new government that uh, just came in, and uh, there's a code review that's going on right now for the franchising code. Uh, so I think the 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 both franchisors and franchisees have a lot of interest in seeing you know, what the new government is going to have to say about the code. So likewise, okay, um, in the U.S., you know, we've been going through a process internally, you know, within our organization. Our chairman, Steve Caldera, uh, Steve Caldera our president, um, and uh, our chairman, uh, Steve Romanello, spoke about it uh, at the conference today. A very similar process of sort of looking at, um, you know, what may be causing some of the tension uh, in franchise relationships. Um, what we would call some of the underlying issues. Uh, what can we do together to work uh, on uh, resolving those issues without government interference, you know, without government intervention. Um, and I think there's a very strong desire. M most small business people would prefer to uh, deal with their issues internally versus turning to the government, you know, for a solution to a problem when they, whenever they occur. Sure. Now, the delegation is, is all franchisors? Is no, no, we have, um, let's see, we have, um, we have a, um, we have a multi-unit franchisee who is also a part owner in a franchise company. So he's a franchisee and a franchisor. Uh, we have our chairman, uh, who is here, uh, is a private equity company that, uh, he's the uh, general manager of a private equity company that owns, he's the CEO of other CEOs that owns franchise companies. Um, we have a, um, a company, a president of a company that uh, is a software company that provides back-end uh, software services to franchise companies. So there's a mix of, of, uh, of uh, executives from franchise businesses here. And, and in terms of the franchisors themselves, uh, who are part of that delegation, are they actively looking to distribute oh, and yes. outlets in Australia? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. In fact, uh, one of the uh, franchise executives that are here uh, with uh, Tudor Doctor, um, they'll have meetings in Sydney with uh, some prospective investors and uh, franchisees that they've lined up for, for meetings. And I think those, uh, from what I understand, those conversations are going very well. So they're very excited, you know, to, to be here. Um, we have um, 
and that largely with CKE restaurants. Um, they're very, you know, big uh, and coming into uh, Australia, New Zealand, um, Asia, China. They're opening up a lot of new restaurants uh, in, in this region. Uh, so he's here. Uh, so there's a lot of interest in, uh, in the Australian market. Is there any particular reason other than the fact that, that obviously it's English speaking and, and perhaps the, there are some similarities in well, business? Well, uh, well I would say, yes, I would say it's very franchise friendly. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, interest in um, uh, established brands, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think there's a, uh, as, as our chairman spoke about it this morning, there's a entrepreneurial culture uh, here. Uh, you know, there's a, a willingness to take risk, you know, to have a go at it, I believe you say, yeah. here. So uh, I, I think all those things uh, make Australia a very good market for, uh, for businesses of all kinds.